locals are fed up after a rash of car break ins. Security video shows windows being smashed in the same garage two mornings in a row. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live near Sheffield and Belmont with more on why some residents say they want changes. Tim. Yeah, Erica, police say someone broke into seven cars in this parking garage behind me between Saturday afternoon and Monday morning, and the problems did not stop there. Security video shows a man breaking car windows in the garage around 2.30 Monday morning. When he's done, he walks down the stairs, out the front door, and on to Sheffield. Very frustrating. Greg Klaus woke up Monday to find the damage. Now his car is in the shop. I just wish that I could have a little bit more peace of mind that I was safe where I pay to live. Klaus called the police Monday morning, but security video appears to show the same guy returning Tuesday morning. You see him break the window of a car and rummage through it before walking out. You can't patrol everywhere all the time. I certainly understand that, but I think some more presence in the neighborhood would be great. Klaus says he doesn't keep any valuables in the car, so the man only took a couple of dollars. Police say in another garage, officers found this broken window around 4.30 Monday morning near Addison and Halstead, less than a mile from Klaus's parking spot. At this point, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if it's as safe a neighborhood as I thought it was. Klaus says he used to park about a block away from here until last fall when someone stole all four tires off his car. I'm paying what I think is a good deal of money to park here. I think it's safe and secure. Again, I thought I was taking the preventative measures to keep something from happening to my car again. And just a few months later, I'm, I'm here having to deal with it all over again. Now, Klaus, Klaus says part of the problem is that people can walk in and out of this garage at just about any time. We tried to get a hold of the management here to see if they have any plans to upgrade security. We also reached out to CPD asking if they have any plans to increase patrols in the area. We'll let you know if we hear back. Live in Lakeview tonight, I'm Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. All right, Tim, thank you.